We are going to learn how to paddle board today with my cohort in crime, as usual, my brother-in-law, Bodie DeAndre. And uh, so, yeah, this is one thing for me. Paddle boarding it just seems ridiculous to me. I know it's a lot of people think it's like good exercise and all that fun stuff. I'm like, if you're on the water, you should probably just be in a boat and trying to stand up on it. You know, that's very dangerous. I was taught in Montana, it's very dangerous to try to stand up in a boat. And now they came out with paddle boarding. So Bodie's going to go through the basics of paddle boarding and kind of just some of the basic things if you've never done it before. And then we're going to try to get out on the water and do it. And then I'm going to probably make a mess. So we'll see here. Hey, so welcome Bodie. back to beautiful Florida. We're yes. here on the intercoastal waterway. And uh, we got birds in the background and we got water. We're going to do something a little different today. A lot of times people will, will board these from the beach okay. or from land. We're actually going to go down off a dock, so it'll be a little different. Okay. But let's talk about a couple things first. Safety, safety, safety. We want to make sure we have protective gear. I've got long sleeves on in the sun. Uh, we've got foot protection on. Make sure we don't cut our feet if we fall off. We've got eye protection. We got our whistles. We, got a hat. we have in the state of Florida. You have to have uh, a life preserver and a whistle, or noise making device besides you. Besides me. And so <laughs> we've got that covered. So we look like we're pretty good. And you always want to have a leash connected to your your ankle. Okay. So that way, if you do fall off, your board doesn't get away from you, because you may be in a river or you may have a fast moving current. You don't want to lose your board, right? so you'll put that. So let's talk about the board a little bit. Different types of boards. These are Both of these are made by Surf Tech. Uh, these are made for more easy recreational purposes. Okay. So uh, this one's 11 and a half feet, this one's 12 feet long. Uh, you'll see on the sides, the rails are a little bit thicker. So you can't get as much speed, but they're more stable. A couple quick things. Okay. Paddle, gotta have a paddle. Yes. Um, you want to have them a certain height where they're up up here because as you go down you don't want to be bending over. Right. You're kind of tall. I probably need a custom paddle for you, but we'll make this work today. Okay. You will notice here we have um, a hand cut out right here in the middle. That gives your center of uh, the board. Mm -hmm. So if you want to carry it, you can just pick it up and lean it up against your side and you walk with it. Yep. It'll be perfectly balanced. And I did that okay. I just want to let everybody know we got them out. out we did the get dock. them here. I did get them out here easily. So a couple key things you'll remember. You want your balance to be somewhere near the center, center of the board. Okay. And you want one foot back a little bit. You don't want to stand completely uh, frontal. Okay. You want to have a little bit with your knees bent. Okay. So that when you paddle, you have a little bit of um, bend in your knees and you can swing side to side. Once you get a little bit better at this, you can actually almost surfboard this and you can ride it a little bit easier and gives you a little bit quicker maneuverability. Uh, you will see, hopefully when we get out here, that you actually can turn these almost on a dime once you get, once you get. Maybe mine's like more a 25 cent piece, a 50 cent piece. Type so of here's curve. what I want to start with. Okay. So when we get on the board here, okay. um, off the dock, I'm actually going to hold it and let you climb on in the middle. Okay. You're going to start in a kneeling position. Okay. If you fall off, the best way to get back on the board is from the back. Okay. So you'll get at the tail and you will climb back on the board from the tail. Okay climb back and get to the kneeling position. Okay. Um, so go ahead, get in a kneeling position in the okay. middle. We're gonna demo this dry. Okay. You're gonna take, you're gonna, you can, you can actually ride the board like this. Okay. You're gonna take your paddle. Okay. And to stand up, you're gonna put the paddle straight down across the board. Okay. No, long ways. Oh, this way. Long ways. Okay. And you're gonna put one leg up in a kneeling position. Like that. Okay. And then at the same time, you're gonna stand up with the other foot as you bring the paddle straight up. Okay. And that's how you're going to stand up on the board. That's the easiest okay. way to do it. Because it's you're a taller filler, with one, you may want to put one foot a little bit further okay. back. And then what you'll do is you'll figure out kind of how right. how you want your feet to be a little more comfortable. Okay. Um, and then we'll talk about paddling okay. in a little bit. But that's the easiest way okay. to start from a kneeling and go to a standing position. Okay. If you want to just kneel all the time, you can do that. Hallelujah, I may just do that. So we're ready. So, I think we're ready to get in the water. Okay. And uh, let's try this out. All right, I'm going to walk it around over here. Okay. Mommy. And we'll get you in over here. All right, this will be the easiest one. Okay. I'm going to Kneel down. It's easier to start kneeling. 
Okay, here, put your, uh, put your leash on. You wrap it around one of your, one of your ankles. Is that, is it not around the fin? Nope, you're, you're good. You're clear. Okay. Nope. Well, that'll work for now. If I should die before I wake, be Jake. He was a good dog. Okay, you want to head out this way to deeper water because you got some. Spread your knees and your feet apart just a little bit. A little more stability. Okay, let's see if you can stand up. Okay. Make sure you have a little bit of water under you. Would you say three whistles is distress, Isabella? <laughs> Hang on, I keep going out. I think the tide's coming in. Hang on. All right. Climb on from the back. I'm afraid to stand up because there's so much mud. Yeah, that's why I wanted them away from here. Mm -hmm. Or do that. Not quite how I taught him. <laughs> so do it the wrong way. So technically right now I'm paddle boarding. I'm paddling with a board. I'm just not standing up. <laughs> so as you can see, paddle boarding it's probably not something that I'm going to pick up. Uh, I pr I'm sure it's great for activities and for people to get outdoors and to uh, enjoy themselves. But uh, if I was about a foot shorter, maybe I would probably enjoy it more. My brother-in-law is a little shorter than I am. But uh, thanks to Bodie for helping show me how to fall off the board. Thank you for Isabella as well to be on the second camera and my lovely wife helping me make a fool of myself out here for everybody. And uh, we'll see you for our next exploit of things Brian doesn't.